This is where our story begins. I would like to make a comparison between beauty and the beast. And as you can see in the background, hoar frost covers most of the landscape. And there's the comparison, one in the same. Hoar frost is a freak of nature, but is the most beautiful sight and peaceful feeling you can get in the middle of winter, and especially when the temperatures aren't at minus 40. So that's where our story begins. I want to take you to the Earth Circle, and I want you to sit down and listen to my story. The story of the beauty and the beast over the last seven years. Hmm, interesting. If you would bear in mind with me just for a short little break, I need to prepare the story time circle. And uh, then we can get down to business. So, as our fire warms up in the earth circle, which is the in and undisclosed location that we like to feature. I want to tell you a story. And the story starts seven years ago, in 2014, 2015. It was a brutal year. Also, a very prosperous year. But I'll get into more details shortly. Let's just wait to see how fire burns and how high this fire will burn. So here we are. As the story goes, it is December the 31st, 2022. And I thought the best way to end the year is on a story of the past. And you ask why the past? Simply put, the past is our future. And what I mean by that connotation is that the past shapes our future. And the last seven years has put a face to this life. March, I believe it was the 17th. My partner and I were driving down River Avenue off of the bridge at Queen Elizabeth Way. This is in Winnipeg, Manitoba in Canada. And we came off the Queen Elizabeth Way down the river road, and we were going to be heading home. Well, when we got halfway down River Road along the uh, transit route, we came to a stop because there was a tow truck that was pulling out from the nearby parking lot. And so we had two vehicles in front of us, three vehicles on our north side, and that's the side that the tow truck was backing out of. So we were all stopped. A short time later, at 75 kilometers an hour, we were impacted. At the time, I owned a QX94, which is a Nissan SUV. It was paid off, it was used, and it was a very good vehicle, I must admit. 
It was luxury, but it was rusting away, as most, and sorry to point it out, Nissans do. Because Nissan is built by Japan, from what I understand, and they don't purify their metals. So when they cast the body of their cars, vehicles, and SUVs, and trucks, they're not pure metal. They have impurities in them. So over time, they will rust out. They have good engines. I never really had a huge problem with the engine. And to say the least, it was my most luxury vehicle I've ever had. Even though it was used, bought used, and uh, it served its purpose. It had heated seats, it was leather, and um, it was an all-around comfortable vehicle. At the time, I was a, uh, a guardian of sorts for Southeast Child and Family Services. That was my part-time job. My full-time job was working in the film production industry. And after we were rear-ended by a tow truck going at 75 kilometers an hour, and this is a half-ton tow truck, it rear-ended us. It buckled the entire frame of the Nissan QX to the point where the back doors were pushed out like a banana. We were at a full stop, so the impact was severe, and uh, it was not pleasant. Um, we did go to the doctors. We did find out that we had concussion. And, uh, well, you know, concussion can sneak up on you at any time. But let's just go another six months into the future, to October. Let's see, March, April, May, June, July, August. Nope, sorry, August, September, August. Middle of August. So needless to say, the QX4, 94, 98, I can't remember what it was, was written off completely. And uh, of course, the value of that SUV was less than $5,000, yet it was a high-end luxury vehicle. And at the time, probably brand new, and it was a 98, I believe, was in and around sixty to $70,000 brand new. I bought it used, and uh, it was $22,000 at the time. Well, needless to say, again, it was written off. And six months later, after we had to get a second vehicle and try and afford the second vehicle because, like I said, the SUV was written off and we needed to get a second vehicle because I worked and I worked long hours and my partner worked long hours and that's just the way it was. So. We were striving to better our lives in partnership, in real estate, in business, and all that fun stuff that for some reason human beings just love to do. Okay then, when I got a replacement vehicle, it happened to be a 2003 Xterra. Now, when I spoke to you earlier about Beauty and the Beast, the connotation was to do with oil and gas versus electric. One's a beast and one's a beauty. And I think you can figure out which one's which. So the x six months later, we're driving down Garvin Road towards the city, and at 2.06, we noticed behind us was a middle-aged woman with kids 
and she was behind, parked behind us or stopped behind us on her cell phone. And this is at the corner of 206 and Garvin Road. At that moment in time, there was a sense of dread. Not only because <clears throat> this individual was on her cell phone, but she had toddlers in her wake, sitting in the van. Needless to say, we had to drive another kilometer to 207, and at 207, it comes into a decline. And um, <clears throat> we came over the last decline of, two, of Garvin Road, and we had to stop because there was a new, or not new, looked brand new, but it was an old model Cadillac in front of us. So we were stopped behind this Cadillac because they were going to be turning south on 207. Well, I looked in my rear view mirror and lo and behold, there she was on her cell phone coming down the hill and I can see it even to this day, six months after the first accident where we were injured and where we were uh, suffered from concussion. She slams on her brakes, she comes sliding down and hit us in the rear of our x slamming us into the Cadillac because we were stuck between two tight vehicles. I couldn't move. I was in shock. My partner was What is even more disturbing, after she walked out of her truck, her van, she walked over to see how we were doing. Um, my partner was already out of the vehicle, I was still in the vehicle, and I could not move because there was this vibration going on in my brain and my head. And the thought of moving, there was a, a, a dread of, of nausea. So, whiplash, again, concussion, again, and what was shocking and surprising, when I saw this lady and she asked me how I was doing, I said, I'm not doing well. I said, how are you? And she was seven months, probably seven months pregnant as well, with her phone in her hand, and it dawned on me. You could have killed us all. You could have killed myself, my partner, the old man that was in the, you know, antique Cadillac in front of us, because he looked very fragile. You could have killed yourself and your children and your unborn child. So when it comes to beauty in the beast, it's one in the same. But my reflection is not on that moment. It's gone, it's happened, it's done. Fortunately, the exterior wasn't written off this time. And that was probably because we had this huge tow rig behind it, which probably absorbed some of the impact. The moral of my story is this. Just a few days ago, I look back on the last seven years, and believe me, there's more than just the accidents. But those accidents never allowed me to go back to work. I couldn't work long hours anymore. Um, I pretty much was dependent on my partner from that time on. And, you know, even though it's seven years later, it's 2022 coming to 2023, and... Um, I'm still not right. I have my moments. Well, even my partner has his moments as well. And they're not pleasant. A good example is that we had gone to cut some grass on the 
undisclosed property that we happen to be at. And the vibration from the lawnmower, riding lawnmower, the vibration was so severe and so intense after a few hours that both of us at one time or another had to get off that vehicle, that lawnmower, and put our heads between our legs because we were spinning out, nauseous, ill, feel like puking. And this is all due to those accidents. And this is already probably six years later. We were still having issues. So, what I really want to discuss is the exterior. I sat down a few days ago and I needed to know what it has cost myself and my partner financially to own this vehicle. And I was shocked when I took just the basic numbers and was floored. I could have owned an EV for the amount of money spent on this Xterra used ICE vehicle. And here's my, my examples. Fuel for seven years, insurance for seven years, maintenance for seven years, and then just this year, significant maintenance in the thousands. And just a month ago, broke down again and was looking at another couple of grand to get it fixed. I said enough is enough, no more. So I took all those numbers for seven years, the cost of the vehicle when I bought it used, the fuel for the last seven years, the insurance for the last seven years, the maintenance for the last seven years. The total cost of owning that used vehicle that was literally hanging on to uh, rust and plastic cost us $43,972. That's the average cost. Over $40,000, 44, almost $44,000 for an ICE vehicle. So again, to my point, Tesla offers financing up to six years and it's really worth it because if I had bought that Tesla instead of that Xterra in 2015, I would just be paying it off, but I would never have had to pay the absorbent expenses that come along with it. That's the ICE vehicle that costs in oil, gas, insurance, and, and so on and so forth. It really did kind of make me take notice that times need to change. And the opportunity is there right now. So if I was to give any advice at the end of 2022, it would be this. First off, watch where you're driving. Don't text or go on your phone while you're driving, especially with children around. The other thing I would like to mention and suggest and advise is that if you have any finances or cash lying around, at this moment in time, on December 31st, 2022, your first opportunity to invest it, do it with Tesla. Because they're not just about cars. They're about energy packs, battery packs, 
they're about solar power. And it's all renewable. So that would be my advice. And if you can, buy an EV. Because ICE vehicles are really coming to an end. So, for Up in Canada, I'm Dominic Raphael. This is my final video of 2022, and I'd like to congratulate myself that this would be 333 videos that I have released in the short six to eight months. In my first videos, I mentioned I didn't really quite have a latch on my niche. But I think I have, a, I'm closer to that than I was before. And there's a lot to come in 2023. And it's going to be broken down, taken down, and rearranged. Because that's what we do up in Canada. I'm Dominic Raphael. Welcome home and welcome back. And welcome to my winter bonfire. Yeah, you hear that crackling in the background? The temperature is about minus five right now. And uh, it's comfortable, quiet, And this is real. So, however you celebrate it, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Yuletide. And I think this is a Jewish reference there too, but I can't remember what it is. Well, there's references in many different cultures because that's what we are up in Canada, many different cultures. So let's work together in 2023 and for the next seven years and beyond so that we're not going to be sitting in the chair trying to get past head injuries or concussions or anger or hate and you know what? Invest in Tesla. It'll be worth it. No joke. Cheers. I'm going to leave you with the crackling fire. And I'm going to take this moment just to be silence. And absorb the energy of our planet. I'm Dominic Raphael. This is Up in Canada. Welcome home and welcome back. Cheers. Hope you can see that. <laughs> Just a moment of silence. I should have brought a line of what I could use, but I always use a rake. Beautiful end to a troublesome year. It's always good just to reflect back on what it was.
what it will be and what mistakes not to repeat. Hmm. I think I'm going to shovel a little pathway around the fire. That sounds like an idea. nice to share this moment with someone else, but my partner works hard. And if there was ever someone who never got breaks over the last four years, it would be our nurses. So give a shout out to those in your family who are nurses and to those friends that you know are nurses and appreciate the sacrifices that they've made over this last five years, generally speaking. You know, I think there's more that you could give thanks to, too. Like the truck drivers. Yeah, that's, that's me. I'm one of them. Class one, over 25 years. It served me well. It wasn't something I wanted to go back into. It's very heavy responsibility, but who knows? Maybe if I was to buy a Tesla Semi 
it wouldn't be that difficult because eventually it's going to be autonomously able to drive. Hmm. Something to think about. not the best idea to be working around a fire in a coat like this because it is going to smell like fire smoke but smoke doesn't last forever either What I found really interesting. <coughs> a couple of days ago, I was out here and I forged a path to the fire pit here. I didn't start any bonfire, but what I did do is I observed markings on the snow. And the pathway I cut shows a single, I believe it's rabbit, because we do have a jackrabbit that lives on this property. And I had a path all the way up to the pit. And from the driveway, all along the pathway, were these single, solitary rabbit markings. They have fairly large hind feet. But I guess my point being is that even animals take the path less traveled. Funny, eh? If you haven't noticed already, this is my serenity. Even after years of issues with the head injuries, with the concussion, with the um, the uh, terms they use is not euphoric. <laughs> No, far from it. Um, I can't think of the name at the moment. Oh, it's not important, really. Um, but yes, this is my serenity. And really, can you blame me? <laughs> Look at this. Where are we? We're December 31st, 2022. We're in the middle of the prairie forest, or in this case, the earth circle. And uh, there's not even a breeze. I stopped at the provincial park and um, I started the video there. And after I finished recording, I went back to the truck and I happened to glance back to where I was filming and my heart stopped 
because there was a brown eagle gliding against the white snow, landing, either catching its prey or maybe just coming in for a snow drink. I don't know. But it was very profound. And throughout the years, I've come across many eagles. Some little birds. You can hear that train. That's probably near Dugald, Manitoba. But it sounds like it's coming in from the east. Or maybe it's just an echo. Maybe it's just peace on earth without the train. Don't fall. Nope. Okay. Good enough. I'm going to let the video completely continue to run. Run down. Hey, have you ever had a conversation with yourself? Kind of talk back and forth? We could do that. There's two chairs here. I can, you know, bring up a character of my past. So I did act too, one time. Yeah, it's not for everybody. But, it is a lot of fun, got to admit. One particular film that, well, actually several films I reflect back on. And the one I'm thinking about was taken at the lower Fort Gary, or the Fort Gary Hotel. Um, it was uh, Mary Kay, which I believe ended up being Hell on Heels or something like that. Anyways, I met the actress because I was actually doing stand-in work at the time for one of the lead roles. And... She casually looks at me and she says, do you know how you can tell an actor? And I says, no, how? She says, you can tell it by their eyes. It's in their eyes. And I thought, okay, that's interesting. So I looked away and I thought, oh, I got to do something about this one. And I looked back and I looked at her and then Shirley MacLaine, by the way, and I says, so what do you think? Is there a potential here? <laughs> and she looked at me. She glanced. She peered into my soul and said, maybe. But at the time, we were having a conversation about one of the young actors that was playing um, her grandson, I believe it was. And um, that character... That kid, she says, that's how you can tell that there's acting blood in that, in that individual. She says, it's all in the eyes. And uh, she says, this one has acting potential. <laughs> so we had a bit of a laugh. You know, she's a cool, cool girl, <laughs> Shirley MacLaine. Yeah, reflecting back on the many, many films. J-Lo was here. Boy, that was a busy year. Wow. Yeah, right off hand, off the hand, off the cuff, I can't. 
can't remember all of the actors that I've met, but um, there's quite a few, and they're all very big names. But I guess I never really could be a good actor because I had an issue with remembering things. And, you know, when it comes to acting, you really need to get off book. Oh, it's possible. I managed to do it a few times. Just some small little productions. I remembered those lines. I studied those lines. I studied the character. But, like I said, acting's not for everybody. If there was ever a character that I would like to play today, and simply because we grew up in the uh, Marvel universe, to be honest, superheroes, Batman, Superman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and so many more. I came across a comic called North Star. This is a Canadian superhero who happens to be gay. I got the first edition. So what I did is I had a friend make the costume for me. I put in some hair extensions and I made a video and sent it to DC Comics. Oh, many years ago. Over 20 years ago. And I honestly hoped I would be called back. I honestly hoped they would make a movie with North Star. Apparently he has a twin as well. Maybe my acting career isn't over yet. And if not North Star, maybe the next character in the DC comic era. Copyrights. This superhero is called Soul to Missy. And you can only imagine what their superpowers are. So, I'm coming to the end of the video. I'm at the end of the year. So, for up in Canada, once again, I'm Dominic Raphael. Welcome home and welcome back. And all the best to all of you, friends, family, and foe, for a prosperous future. Not only in 2023, but well into the future. Until your calling. Cheers. And that, they say, is that. Fire's burning down. Might be time to go. But I'd like to say thank you for sitting out here with me in the snow. Cheers. So let's play the game. This is who I am when I'm not in character. But when I'm in character, I turn into Soul Tennessee Man.